Hello to everyone. In the Corona year of 2020, we decided to start with the project A Cup of Literature for a Better Day. It is a part of the project National Month of Shared Reading in Slovenia. Every September, October, sometimes in November, we publish five to ten minutes long videos of readings from different published works to make your day even better. The aim of the project is to promote reading, borrowing and buying books. Videos are still available in our Facebook group Skodelica Literature za lepši dan and on our YouTube channel Cankareva knjižnica Vrhnika. You are welcome to listen, share and like. Today I will read from Ivan Cankar our greatest prosaist writer. He was born in 1876 and died in 1918. Ivan Sankar wrote more than 30 books, I think 42, and is considered one of the primary representatives of Slovene modernist literature. He is also considered one of Europe's most important fin de siècle. He dealt with social, national and moral themes. In my life, he wrote also. My life. Not long ago, our Slovenska Matica sent round a forum on which people were supposed to record the most interesting events in their lives. One of these forms came my way, but I hardly know, knew what to do with it. For one thing, it was printed in Croatian and the only language I speak at home is Slovene. The authorities have learned Slovene and perhaps in time also will Slovenska Matica. But even worse, the questions on the form had clearly sprung from the mind of one of his Imperial Majesty's professors, accustomed to dividing human activities into periods and tabulating human life under headings A, B and C. For these reasons, I gave the form to the mate to light the fire with. But it did strike me on this occasion that there were in my life many events worth recording. I have put down these events for the finest of the Slovene literary periodicals, Miss Cesara. I only regret that I am unable to divulge where, when and how this remarkable periodical is published. One of my best uh, Zankar's citations is the next one. Everyone's youth is full of gaiety and happiness, of brilliant sunshine and joyful laughter. Everyone's youth. If in later years and in hours of bitterness, a man looks back on it with the cold eyes of estrangement, it may appear to him unhappy, a chalice of, of undeserved suffering and early disillusion. But it is hard to look at this way. In a moment, the veil of missed parts fades into nothingness and the young sun smiles again, evoking love and thankfulness. Memory is sweet as a song. The breast heaves in a sigh, the eyes dim and the lips cursed by a smile. Thank you for listening and have a nice day.